Complex spoken language with words, metaphors, similes is what separates humans from any other known living species on our planet and beyond. Language is and will always be important to human life and has been an integral part of how we as humans got to the point we are at today. Without complex spoken language, it is very likely that we would not have even entered the agricultural age and without agriculture, there would be no villages, towns, or cities. Even prior to farming, spoken language was a significant aspect in hunting, gathering, migration, and avoiding danger. Understanding the importance of language in our everyday life, many people ask the question, what is the oldest language? Where and how did it develop, and where do they still speak it? And how does it relate to all of us today? Well, today we will try to answer all of these questions. First, let's talk about what the common answers tend to be to the question, what is the oldest language? When you ask the average person what is the oldest language, they usually give you one of a few answers. Hebrew, Sanskrit, Tamil, or Egyptian, aka Coptic. All of these languages are very old. Hebrew is around 3,000 years old. Sanskrit around 3,500 years old, Tamil possibly being around 5,000 years old, with the oldest inscriptions being around 2,700 years old, and Egyptian being about 5,000 years old as well. But what does this even mean? What do people mean when they say that these are the oldest languages? Well, for starters, if we assume Tamil is the oldest of these languages, this doesn't mean that all languages come from Tamil, or that it is the very first language that humans spoke. All they mean is that Tamil is the oldest language still spoken today. Modern Tamil descends from older forms of Tamil that was spoken for thousands of years. All of these languages that I have mentioned are surviving languages that have existed for thousands of years, but they aren't the oldest languages we know of. Okay, so what are the oldest languages then? Besides languages that are currently spoken or able to be spoken, Sumerian is the oldest recorded language. First recorded, over 5,000 years ago, meaning the language existed over 5,000 years ago. And here's how it sounded. <laughs> However, there are older languages that we know existed. The languages I mentioned prior all have ancestral languages. Luckily, all of the languages mentioned are a part of larger, pretty well-researched language families, so we can trace the ancestry of these languages. If you don't know what a language family is, it's basically like a family tree of languages where you can see what the ancestor of a language is, what languages they are related to, all the way back to a proto-language, an original language that is the ancestor of all the languages within the family. Most languages develop because when a language spreads over a larger area, dialects or different versions of that language form over time. These versions of that original language are influenced by many factors like the environment, neighboring languages, accent changes, isolation, or in the case of a conquered people, their language having an impact on how the new language is spoken. Whatever the case may be, there are now different dialects of that original language because of these factors. And as time goes by, these changes become more and more pronounced, no pun intended, and a new language is formed. This process happens again and again, creating branches of language families. Within a branch, there is closer relation between languages and tends to be many times a level of intelligibility. All of these languages share a common ancestor a few thousand years ago with this language. And this language shares a common ancestor with these languages here, and on and on. Hebrew is from the Semitic branch of the Afroasiatic language family, and Egyptian or Coptic is from the Egyptian branch of the Afroasiatic language family. The ancestral language of all Afroasiatic languages is called Proto-Afroasiatic, which existed around 16 to 10,000 years ago. The homeland of this language is heavily contested. It could have been anywhere in the Middle East, Northeast Africa, or East Africa. This is also the ancestor of Arabic, Amharic, Amazir languages, Hausa, Aramaic, and many more languages. Sanskrit is a part of the Indo-Aryan branch of the Indo-European language family. Proto-Indo-European is the oldest Indo-European language originating in the Pontic Caspian steppe with the Western steppe herders, aka the Indo-Europeans, around 6.5 to 7,000 years ago. This is a reconstruction of that language. 
Eu tô tomando um meu que já disse de um erro. O povo é rico de um erro não se sobre no de um jagueto. This is the ancestral language of most European languages like English, French, Swedish, Russian, all the way to South Asia and the Middle East, like Hindi, Bengali, Punjabi, Farsi, Pashtun, Kurdish, etc. Finally, Tamil is part of the South Dravidian branch of the Dravidian language family. Proto-Dravidian was spoken most likely in the Deccan Plateau around 6,000 years ago. However, many hypothesize that it could have also been spoken in the Indus Valley civilization in the southern regions, and I've actually made a video about that. While others hypothesize about a supposed Elamo Dravidian language family, which makes the claim that the ancestor of Dravidian languages originated 10,000 years ago in western Iran by the kingdom of Elam. Now, out of all of these major language families, we see that the Afro Asiatic language family is the oldest. It's the oldest even compared to other language families that we didn't mention, possibly being around 20,000 years old. This means that Proto-Afroasiatic, which would have been the ancestor of all Afroasiatic languages, is the oldest language we know was spoken. This language was spoken in Northeast Africa by the Red Sea, possibly 20,000 years ago, with descendant languages like Arabic, Amharic, the many Amazir languages, Egyptian, to Hebrew and Assyrian, still spoken today. Now, all of these languages have their originating proto-language, but if we think about it, it is more likely than not that these proto-languages, if we go back far enough, come back to a singular spoken language dozens of thousands of years ago, or even hundreds of thousands of years ago, that is the ancestor of all languages in the world. It is likely that Homo sapiens have been developing complex speech since the emergence of anatomically modern humans between 200 to 300,000 years ago, maybe even further back than that. We know that modern humans left out of Africa between 50 to 70,000 years ago in a group between 150 to 1,000 individuals, and that these individuals are the ancestor of all human populations outside of Africa. Meaning that is very possible because of how small this initial migration was in terms of population. All non-African languages likely share a common ancestor at this point 50 to 70,000 years ago. But going even further back than that, this language was a descendant likely of an older language that could go back to the emergence of anatomically modern humans in Africa. So what is this language? What is the oldest language ever spoken? This we don't know. It is possible that these proto-prehistoric languages share one common source language, but it is also possible that they developed from different sources. If there is one language that is the ancestor of all languages, it most likely developed in Africa, but because of the fact that written language did not exist that long ago, it is almost impossible to know what it sounded like and where exactly in Africa it developed. It's also possible that our ancestors, Homo heidelbergensis, had somewhat complex spoken speech as well. And even their ancestor, Homo erectus, likely was able to speak with rudimentary language capabilities. And this was passed down over hundreds of thousands of years, developing. And it got to the point where we are now with much more complex speech than they had. It is entirely possible that we share a common language hundreds of thousands of years ago because of this. Because the genus Homo has been able to speak before we were sapiens. And that this rudimentary language, becoming more complex over time, was finally passed on to Homo sapiens. And since our shared ancestors started speaking, we haven't stopped talking. All of us, all of our languages possibly coming from this one unknown language. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm almost at 4,500 subscribers. Let me know what you think the oldest language is in the comments below.